Hello fellow language learning nerds, you join me today for another My Japanese Bookshelf video. If you haven't seen any of my couple others I've done before, it's basically a video where I introduce some of the books on my Japanese bookshelf. Now this is a metaphorical bookshelf, as I've said before, I have I actually have some books on a shelf to my right here, I have some books on the other side of the room, I have some books sprawled on the desk in front of me um, but <laughs> really the whole thing is just an excuse to be able to show you what books I have for Japanese whether it be helping to learn the language or whether it be books written in Japanese I know as a book person myself I love having a nosy at other people's bookshelves and I thought why not share a little bit of what's on mine as well the book for today's video is a dictionary of basic Japanese grammar. Uh, there's actually three in this series, basic, intermediate and advanced. And I have two of them, the basic one and the intermediate one. I got these because I had heard many people uh, who were learning Japanese themselves just say what excellent books they were and it didn't matter what the level, even if they were really advanced uh, in the language, they would still be like, yeah, these, these are great. And so I finally got my hand on two of them. Now, it took me a while because uh, they are kind of expensive. Uh, so I would recommend that if you want to get them for yourself, definitely try and hunt down some cheaper copies. Definitely try and do that. They're certainly worth having. Um, so even if you have to grab yourself a secondhand copy, I know we all like brand new uh, books, but yeah, grab yourself a secondhand copy if you can. Now I finally managed to grab myself a couple of copies of these, but I always thought that I'm grabbing them because I had the chance to grab them for a really good price. So I did, but I, even the one that said, you know, for basic Japanese grammar, I kind of put them, put off using them for quite a while. Again, it was that mindset of being like, oh, I'm not good enough to be able to use these yet. But that's, that's complete false, complete false. It was a lie I made up in my head. Now they look intimidating because, I mean, one, look at the freaking size of them. And that's just, you know, <laughs> if there's three books like this, it can be intimidating. And when you open it up, it has that typical textbooky, loads of text. Oh, it kind of looks a bit intimidating. Mm, I don't know about this. <laughs> but once I finally started using it, I was like, oh, I'm so glad I have these. I'm so glad I have these. It's simply arranged uh, A to Z in English, A to Z uh, manner. It starts off with um, uh, a basic explanation of what the grammar point is, goes on to some key sentences for to try and show you what they mean. Uh, then it has a formation section on like this is how you create it yourself and then a whole bunch of example sentences just to try and cement the meaning in your head and then a bunch of notes as well on it and related expressions once you actually start getting into trying to read it you realize very quickly that despite its textbooky look to it uh, it's actually really easy to read and to understand. It's so good. Um, and yeah, it, that's got to be why so many uh, language learners, uh, you know, recommend it and stand by this and, you know, probably each have copies <laughs> for themselves on their own bookshelves. So far at my own level, um, I've only needed to use the basic Japanese grammar. Uh, one, I'm not you. I've not needed to use the intermediate one yet, but it's. I find it reassuring now that I know how good the the basic one is. I find it very reassuring that I've got the next one up. <laughs> like when I need it, it's there for me. One day I hope to get the third one, uh, the advanced one, um, but I don't need that just yet. I might not need it for a little while, so there's no rush to get it at all. Uh, I just hope hope that when I do want it, that I can grab one at a, you know, a decent price. Looking on the inside of the book, it looks like these were originally done in the in the 80s, which 
I mean, I'm sure they've had um, updates to it and that, but considering that a textbook came out that long ago and is still being used today, then that's not really that's pretty good. I'm kind of annoyed at myself that it took me so long to start using these uh, because I know I've wasted time trying to go back through all my notebooks from class being like I know the grammar is here somewhere and it just <laughs> just wasted so much time and the answer was like right here all along <laughs> yeah this is I think a, a very valuable resource for anyone learning Japanese highly highly recommend it whether you're doing it formally with a course, maybe uh, whether it's an in evening course once a week or you know you're studying it at university level or you know even if you are studying by yourself, this, this is a must have I think, I genuinely think so. I will try and have the book ISBN numbers down in this description below so that if you're interested in it then you can use that number to look it up. Um, on a number of different websites on Amazon, on Waterstones, Foils, any bookshop that's uh, local to your area, use it, go look for it. I promise you this is worth having. I know I'm definitely not going to be giving these books up anytime soon. They're going to be staying on my shelf for a long time and we'll probably join the sprawl of books that lives around me at my desk. I know this video, to me, it feels like I've just shown you the book and been like, it's good, it's very good, it's very good, buy it. But that's genuinely how I feel. <laughs> so I will be leaving it there uh, for today. <laughs> um, I hope in future to do more of my Japanese bookshelf videos. So please do look out for those in the future. But for now, if you wouldn't mind give, leaving a little like on my video, I'd much appreciate it. And I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye for now.